Yes. Eric Omondi, uh, recently now, he was actually uh, framed as that deadbeat dad. Ta -ta -ta -ta. That term that many ladies out here use when a man actually neglects his own babies out there. Who is this lady that actually did this? Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Jackie Maribe, yes, shout out to her, yes, one of his many baby mamas out here. One of the men who are actually spreading out seeds that you are actually mentioning, that Dr. Gaxley mentioned. One of the men who are actually out here being the next Nick Cannon. You know, Nick Cannon has over 11 baby 11 mamas. Kids. Yeah, you know Nick Cannon, right? Yeah, oh, good! A guy who's in tune with the pop culture. Now, the thing is, one thing that actually comes into now the main thing, question, even I'll actually ask the panel is, do you think, because um, when it comes to now deadbeat dads and uh, this whole deadbeat dad scenario, like even uh, people are saying that there's so many deadbeat dads because of all the cheating and everything, with now the stigma attached to deadbeat dads, when they're being castigated always that y it's you who is now the problem and everything, castigating them, do you think that that will actually make them take action to be part of their child's lives? And then are they really a deadbeat dad when in fact the family does not actually want them Incorporated within the child's life. Okay, I think I think um, Eric Omondi's case is very very interesting. One is because Jackie comes out because Eric has been using a lot of her tribulations as part of his kids. Mm -hmm. So it is not because Eric probably has not been providing. It is because it's payback time that you've been using me negatively in your skits in your comedy skits. And then I'm, I'll go out and say that you're deadbeat. But there are deadbeat dad, dads out there. Yeah. People who don't care, take care of their kids and all that. But there are also dads who are termed as deadbeat, but they are co-parenting. You see, what is a deadbeat? A deadbeat is someone who you fathered a kid out there and you do not take any responsibility. But there are also women who give you more responsibility than you can handle, remember? Mm -hmm. So you, for example, someone will say, I need you to pay 10,000, and you may actually make five. Then you say, I can part with two. Then out there it comes out as a deadbeat. You are not actually deadbeat. The phenomenon of deadbeat is when you do not necessarily take care of that person whatsoever. But in the past, we've seen Eric with the, with the baby sometimes. Mm -hmm. They've been together, and sometimes we are not sure. Another thing is that you cannot claim that someone is a father of your baby unless you've done a DNA and it's confirmed positively. So you need confirmation first. Yes, because how are, we know in these families that there are people who are raising, and it's a big research, that if, this, if we tell all the men who are married and, or people who are saying these are your babies, to do DNA with those kids, 50% of those kids do not belong to those men. And that's the biggest fear of that. But, them. but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> You see, that's where I completely differ. Yes. In the sense that once you've identified yourself and you have accepted as the father figure, mm. you know, sometimes what is DNA? You know, if you go adopting a child, whether it's legally or it's biologically, I think fatherhood and motherhood is, is, is beyond DNA. Mm. It's mm. about Eric identified himself as the father figure in this child's life. Mm. And therefore, he needs to play the fatherly duties. And you know, I think this is something we must really take seriously mm -hmm. uh, because it's not just even about the money. It's about are you present in the child's life. A child has a right to a father. A child has a right to a mother if they are present. Or these figures, mother figure or father figure, even in the government, institutions where they keep the children, those children usually have a mother figure and a father figure. It is good for child's, a child's development and it will help us in a lot of these society issues. You know, if your father is not giving you the fatherly love or your mother is not giving you that motherly love, then we are, we are wondering why the society is full of all these things. There's so much anger, there's so much disillusionment, there's the moral decay. So it's something that has to be taken seriously. Even if you're not earning the money, I think the women will understand, all the fathers will understand that my woman is not earning so she can't help. Or is my, because it's not just mm -hmm. the, there's deadbeat moms also out there. Mm -hmm. So I think so that it's about being there. And your child will see when you're trying and they will work hard in the future 
if, to know that the father is there. Children don't need much. Children just need love and protection. Yes, I see yes. what you're saying. Even you know, the only pushback before. And your you, presence. Oh, I get you. And now here's the thing: How can you now act, be an active father in a context in which the, the the relationship with the mother is very hostile? And that can now actually now lead, and then the mother has actually now the upper hand in generating a narrative about you as a man, and now to this child. And a lot of cases scenario will be is now you as the man, you have tried to go out of your way, but then now you have already been branded as not only a baby dad, oh yeah, who have a bako, taka taka, whatever, whatever. Have I done? You have know, you it, that? it will happen, but let me tell you, and I I should know this better, children. Usually, we, children don't even understand. When you're saying those things, they don't understand what you're talking about. And there's laws in this country that protect uh, 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 partners or people in a relationship and there's children. There's laws that if, if, if Eric goes to court to actually get access to the child, the court would listen. There's laws. We are not living in a lawless country. Yes, true. There's children's rights. So, and even when one parent is talking bad things about another parent, mm -hmm. the children, yes, may listen, but when they grow up, they'll make up their minds. It's even when it comes to now even Debbie dad, sometimes the issue is the relationship between the, the mother and the father. And then now the kid has to see that. What has the child got to do with it? That's the friction that happens. But, the child sees that and now sees down they see that now that is now how two grown-ups should actually behave and that actually causes a lot of people no, call no, child but that's trauma. We have in future. <laughs> but I'm just saying now that their child is young, I, I think both Eric and Jackie should uh, start. Although I feel, okay, I don't want to throw the blame at one of them. Are they even married? Nope. Oh, no. mm. then that changes the whole direction of my comments. Because then at this point, if they are separate, whoever is with the child, I think should take major responsibility for the child's mental health, so to speak. So at this point, just stop mentioning Eric. And Jackie, I thought Jackie was a smart woman. I, I mean, judging by her bob, because mm. dumb women don't wear bobs. Bobs are for smart, intelligent women. Huh? She, had, she had a nice bob. Yeah, I never so heard that I, one. So I'm just <laughs> thinking, why you know who Eric is? How many times does she need for this man to show her mm. who he is? Exactly.